Dad? Got some? Where do babies come from? What? Where do babies come from? Well, did you ask your mother? She said they came from the stork. Well, did you ask your teacher? She said the well, you one. see, um, son, they're actually both wrong. Ah, uh, you calling? You saying mom's wrong? Well, <laughs> well, let's not tell her what the, what happened here. No. Um, but it's either because women are always wrong, or because babies do not come from the stork or anything that you'll learn in ninth grade. See, they actually come from trees. Technically, they do come from trees. See, it started back in Adam and Eve times. Alright? Mm -hmm. And so, um, the first baby tree was made by God. And so then, um, basically what happens is that on the lower limbs were um, the not very smart babies. You know, the ones who don't get straight A's in junior high. You see, son. Those babies would fall to the ground, and they would crawl, and they would make new baby trees. Now, in the higher branches... So they bury themselves alive? No, see, it's all a natural process. They don't mind being buried alive. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> the, um, these not-so-smart babies, they don't mind. In fact, they don't really get buried alive. They just go, and they sprout into a new baby tree. Now, in the higher branches of the baby tree were the smart kids. And they were usually picked. Like the Asians? Actually, those were made in Asia. Oh. What happens when a mom and dad get a baby they don't like? Well, they let it go and then it sprouts into a new baby tree. Have you ever heard the phrase, hit every branch on the way down? No. <laughs> okay, well, the saying is, um, say that there's a cute girl that you like at school. Lots of people say, they fell out of the beautiful tree and hit every branch on the way down. You see, um, handsome and beautiful people are like that because they were the high branches on the tree, they fell out, and they hit every branch on the way down. That's also why blondes are dumb. What happens if it's fall and the baby tree dies? See, when <laughs> a baby is born, they have this protective substance on their bodies, which we call sunscreen. Okay. And <laughs> see, um, what this does is if the baby tree ends up dying, before the babies are old enough to um, get parents, um, they have this protective substance and they go and try to create a new baby tree. However, if they're not supposed to, by God's will, um, then at 12 months, the substance goes away and then the stork picks up the baby and takes it to a new parent. That mm -hmm. happens on during every season. Mm -hmm. Which, your mother was partly right, but not entirely right. The stork is, in fact, involved. I don't know that girl stuff my teacher told me. Well, all that turns out is not true. It was just a lame excuse made by scientists to keep us from learning the truth. What happens if the baby falls and hit his face when he branches? Well, then we have a special ed baby. What are you trying to say? Well, like, you're not... You weren't a special ed baby. Your fourth cousin was. Oh, no, my fourth cousin. What? I don't know, my fourth cousin. That's probably because we tried to keep you far away from her. Why? Well, we don't want you getting any funny ideas. Sorry, special ed kid. No, <coughs> but you didn't hit any branches on the way down from the tall branches. Just call me stupid. You weren't on the low branches, but... You didn't hit any branch on the way down, but you didn't come out a special ed baby. You came out like, um, so I'm what about the ones on the lower branches? Those babies become baby trees around six months, and the ones with the protective substance become, um, parented around 12 months. Oh. Okay. Why are we saying in our hikes then? Well, because baby trees are grown in Canada, and the ones that, um, go through America, <laughs> they like to travel at night, and they say camouflage during the day. And that doesn't mean that we're nocturnal, it just means that um, babies' minds are really strong. And so they think, hey, we should just travel at night so that nobody can see us. And during the day, we should stay camouflaged. But, and the protective substance is also a, power, is also a powerful camouflage. Thank you for telling me the truth, Dad. No, it's alright, son. Hey, Mom! Oh, crap.